morning. <laughs> I've written a word, I'm going to read it. I'm going to show you a couple of clips. And that's really how I'm going to start this. It's a new, a new series. The Lord started it yesterday morning. And he woke me up with a picture. It looked like this. I don't I didn't see the heart, but I saw a woman coming in for a kiss from a man. It was a silhouette. Now I have posted a little clip before and the thumbnail said glory on my pillow. And it was just a word the Lord gave me because glory was on my pillow. <laughs> But that's what happened yesterday morning. And I can only compare it. And I can't even remember. All I know is it's in my spirit. Is when I woke after the dream of the message I brought to the Māori people with the sign and the wonder, the glory that was all over me when I woke. That's all I can compare it to. But this time it was glory on my pillow and my head, my head, was on the pillow. And I realised I was looking at this image. It was a woman and a man coming in for, they were passing their breath, you know, like that time before a kiss. The breath was passing between them and then... I realized that there was glory all over my head. And I can only tell you that it was like, um, it wasn't anywhere else in my body, just my pillow, on my pillow. And it was, it felt like a field that was as big as a, you know, a 30 centimeter ruler all the way around my head. So, you know, it was through the pillow. It was the glory. And I was listening to a song. I was listening to the words of a song. The song was Jason Upton, You Are Home to Me. I recognised I was listening to the song and the glory was on my pillow. And then the song stopped, it went dead. And I knew that the Lord was, it was the natural realm. And it was being interfered with, tampered with, but it was our God. He stopped my Spotify in that song. Now, I knew, I just knew, that this manifest glory on my pillow was about three minutes. So when I got up, because that's all I saw, when I got up, I checked my Spotify and it had crashed. And I went back on it and I screenshot my phone and the song, so I wouldn't forget it, Home to Me. And it was eight, it was three minutes past eight. Three minutes past eight. So I, the glory was on my pillow with this picture at eight. Don't get caught in room eight. Now then I started hearing from the Lord all day yesterday, all day yesterday. I wrote, I scribed a word, which I'm not going to share in part one, but I'm going to share the word that I scribed this morning. We're going to go backwards.
So Glory was on my pillow on the 5th of the 12th at 8 a.m. And now at 6, I've woken and I woke knowing why. Why I'm putting Click and Robert. I even know his name. Because the Lord set it up that the person that I talk to in America knows who he is. Not, I don't think personally, but knows who he is and, and called him Robert. Now, everyone's looked at Robert's upload three hours long. Um, I've almost finished it and I've posted some of it. And as you know, if you look, I posted a question about the Pied Piper because Robert brought it up. Robert brought it up. So that's why Robert is, is in this, because the Lord is speaking to Robert and Clerk. But he's mostly speaking to you. So I woke knowing why am I why I am putting Click and Robert on hold because of a song. Yes. A song. I'll pop it down here. Because of a song. Yes, the song. And two romantic movies. Now, Click was told 100% no line. Is assuming, is assuming lying? I think I know the difference. Actually, I know the difference. Let God be truth and every man a liar. See, I know. So assuming that, one, bodies lie dead when we go in the, now I'm not going to say the word because the Lord showed me it yesterday. But I'm going to get you to go to Strong's G726. And there is no excuse because I made excuses. I was watching Kirk for nearly, nearly eight months until I stubbornly actually looked at the numbers and went to Strong's and saw the signs for myself. Nearly eight months. So there is no excuse. The bodies lie dead when we go in the Strong's G726. Look it up. Clex said it. He said the word and now he said that the body just lies dead. This is a study. Two can play that game. And I can play it backwards. You have to remember this is the Lord speaking. I can't do this. I would never speak this way. I'm the flesh. I don't like the other side of the sword. I don't, I don't like to wield the double-edged sword. Because I'm the wicked flesh but him and me this is him speaking two can play that game and I can play it backwards so that's one assuming that two saying that coming with the word of God in the Bible KJV and using root word from Strong's means he speaks a hundred percent truth from me is wearing out now it's wearing out 
because he believes every word <clears throat> the most high in his mind is lying now because he believes it's a, a hundred percent true every word from the most high in his mind is lying now because it see it will not wear out the most holy of God it will vex them click you know you are a testimony of this some of you believe the word plus strongs in KJV is no lying and a hundred percent truth you will fall dead and your body will be left but you know they are vexed you know you are not worn out so listen see i call every man a liar and myself the only source of truth look to what happens look to the heavens i said for signs in the sky sun moon and stars did you well i speak in dreams visions click not just word of knowledge and written word this too is a stumbling block will the rock crush you or will you stand are you the shining ones or is there found darkness in you without spot or wrinkle the bride of Christ I come for her is she ready no I will prepare a place yes is she ready no have I prepared a place yes did she get ready yes in her eyes but wait there's more <laughs> this one. oh there's a fly in here get out <clears throat> Those that are wise in their own eyes will not see the kingdom of God. Now let's get to Robert. You looked at the stars, but you saw what they wanted you to see. You see the truthers get herded. You don't think you will. You're wise in your own eyes. You believed in their version of events. You believed in what they served you up. You will be eating from a dinner plate from their wedding banquet. Like Obama said, let's do this right here, right now. The time is now and you heard now is the time. You're going to the wrong banquet. It's a wedding and you are knocking at the door. Now we have some more Strongs for you to look up. Strongs 608. You will understand about this door. How does Lisa know this? Why is she my mouthpiece? Why did I put hot coals to her lips? Yes, it was 
during a manifestation of my Holy Spirit, my manifest presence. That's when I showed her this. She knelt. She saw. Dimly in a impression. A cherubim take a coal from the altar in a tong and place it on her lips. A man without words. She said that. I am nothing. A nowhere man. Oh, sorry. I am nothing. Not the nowhere man. Nothing. Not dust. Nothing without your words. Now, I am referring to a third man that the Lord wants to rebuke. Tony Lamb. Yet he brought a word of truth. He brought a word of truth. But the Lord rebukes him too. I will link. I will link his word. Watch it with discernment. Anna Crino. So you say you bring the word of God, click? Well, God says the word of God is changing quick. Tell them the bear speaks like God. I'm going to stop and have a wee drink of coffee. Read ahead if you want. I, I not read these over. I don't read them over. I write them and I have to deliver. Well, God says the word of God is changing quick. Tell them the bear speaks like God. You didn't hear that. I sent out that message in a bottle. I'm going to say that again. You didn't hear that. I sent out that message in a bottle and you didn't hear that. Remember it is changing quick. This is her name. You are click. Yahweh has given a messenger, a bell ringer. But I have quickened this to her. It will be quick. Just as her name suggests. So listen up, folks. As Obama would say, I turn you upside down on that one. Did you hear that? Listen up, folks, as Obama would say. And the Lord says, I turn you upside down on that one. I say it. Listen up, folks. This will be quick. You're before it, click. You're before it, click. Lisa is after it. Quick, pass the bat on. You must be ready. Your race is done. You finished. Get out before you stuff it up. All your books are book ended. You finished. Be glad of it. Continue and be sad in it. You finished. Be glad in it. Continue and be sad in it. You will go into error without me. This is the stark warning. A transforming word. You seen the movies? Now, meet the Pied Piper. You need to look at that Tony Lamb video that I'm linking. Think about who was missing. Why was everyone so upset? Who was missing?
who take the children, who plays the music, who is in your stories, who is in your movies, who has and is well and able to complete the work I started in you. But you who say you see are blind, and I tell you, you do not see. Say this because I can't have, I say this because I can't have blind guides leading my sheep. I hope you understand that I must be true to my word. This is the living word. That doesn't change. I must be who I said I was and I am a God of vengeance. And my hand is against your pillows. Turn that up and you will. Against your pillows. Turn that up and you will. And only with my help become that spotless bride that... Did you think you would do it on your own? Did you think for a moment, moment, I was not a God of miracles, a sign and a wonder? And I wonder why, 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 why you ran away, I wonder. You see? I am the Pied Piper. I was here. I was here. Before your fire. I was here. Before him. In all my many forms. All my many manifestations. I was here. I am here. And I never left. Stupid, have you seen the t-shirt? I've got a picture of Amy in that t-shirt with the arrow. And I never left, stupid. What way is your arrow pointing? Look at mine. It's like that because there's no room for it to go up. Paul sent me a testimony yesterday. He's in the Christmas parade on his truck. He sought the Lord what to put on his truck as a sign. He put arrows on the truck. Arrows. And I said to him, he said, arrows like yours, Lisa. And I said, oh, Paul, I hope it was pointing up. It, mine's only sideways because there's not enough room. <laughs> he said, I know the way. He's new in the faith and he knows the way. The first will be last, guys. The Lord meant it. The last. The, 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 the last wine. The first miracle of the Lord Jesus Christ. The last of the wine was left. The best wine was left till last. I was here, I am here, and I never left, stupid. What way is your arrow pointing? Lisa was touched by my hot coal. They are manifesting as darkness increases. But you forget, so too are these. In these days, my light will increase. And seeds will spring up. The ones I planted in good soil. No weeds round these. No rocky ground. No dry barren soil. No. It's all been done before. I'm going to finish with a scripture uh, just from this word and then I want to show you a couple of clips from the movie 
the Lord sent me to. It's Song of Songs, Why, 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 You Went Away. It's the Love Songs, Song of Songs, 2.11 to 12. Now, I will tell you this. This was the word given to my husband and I that we had on our, you know, fold out, hand out on our wedding day, this word. And it was given by someone who is used of God but is mixed of God. Someone who would call me a Jezebel, let's just say that, who is committed and dedicated their entire life to the Lord in youth ministry. This was the word. But they're wrong calling me a Jezebel. Yet they bought this word and the Lord is using it. So the word is C. The winter has passed. The rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth. The season of singing has come. And it is not the Christmas season. It is not the sign in the sky I put up. It's not the dangerous windy star. You need fear. Or the long awaited false messiah it heralds. It's me. Do you know me? You are at the wrong door. And Lisa has two romantic movies to warn. You all, there are two doors. She hasn't even seen them both. These are these movies. I haven't even seen them both. But she knows there are two doors. How does she know? Because she went to Wikipedia and read the plot. I think not, but I did do that. It's because she hears my voice. She is a sheep and she knows me in dreams, visions, and the quickened word, yes, Strong's, yes, the written print, the Logos, yes, but man does not live on bread alone. Don't be at the wedding feast. Don't be fooled again. The eagle's wings take the woman into safety, into the wilderness. The Lord is reminding you that in my testimony, Lisa, me, I manifest this, this eagle. It's a pantomime, can't spell that. All to show. It's all a show turned up. You know, it's theatre, but it's turned up now by the Lord. Can't you see that? Right. I want to tell you that, and I'm only going to show you quickly. This is the end of my book. This book was called Happy, Happy, Joy, Joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, Biden is a joyful man. He is the seventh king. That's when I started this. And the Lord has given me something. Just quickly, everything in pink, I wrote. It's a conversation. Everything in yellow, he wrote. Two pages. I'm holding on to it until Christmas. It's a surprise. So, one thing I do know is I'm still here at Christmas. I'm on my next spot. I won't be fooled again. And the date... And I only have this book because I went to the red shed, the big red barn, the warehouse with Gary. I thought I already had a spare book to write in, but I didn't. And it was only at the last minute that I fought to write this. And the only reason I said to him, get a book, is because when I was in the warehouse with him, the Lord engaged his gaze. He looked and I said, what are you looking at? at this video called 
last Christmas, last Christmas, and he had the glory on his face. That's his witness, and it was a witness to me. This is last Christmas. This is the last Christmas, and this is all about last Christmas. So have a look at my two little clips from last Christmas, because remind me, remind me, remind me of your love. It's not the tune, but it's a Jason Upton song. And there are two short clips from last Christmas. But the Lord means last Christmas. So don't be fooled again. The Lord gave me a heads up. It's usually about a year ahead. So this is now. The time is now. So without making you sit through a whole movie on my silly old iPad, I'm going to show you something that I hope will get you to watch a corny chick flick. Because God doesn't mind corny chick flicks. So if he minded corny chick flicks, he wouldn't have given me two romantic movies. That's what I have in my videos. The Lord spoke to me about this. That's the chick flick I'm going to play. 18. Look that up in Strong's. I have this wee click, um, click, click video. It's only three seconds long. He's got the 999 there. Look that up in Strong's. You shouldn't need to. And these... come from Robert. Around about the time he brought up the Pied Piper. See, the Lord was t speaking to him about the Pied Piper, but he, he interpreted it incorrectly. The Lord showed me without a doubt that I have the gift of interpretation of dreams. That's how come I've been able to interpret Carrie Ann's dream from 2016. And that's why I'm warning you about the wrong banquet. The ones outside the city, the vagabonds, are eating a bit of everything on a white dinner plate. And they aren't Jesus like Carrie Ann thought they were. Because she saw a man eating chips. And he kept saying, very, very, very. As he counted the chips out, and in the end he said, soon, the Antichrist will be here. So that's 2016, and the Lord's given you now the interpretation. Now, for a reason, because the time is now. Now, he's funny, because this is the movie he sent me to. Oh... Look again, look at the body language. This is the girl in the movie. Oopsie. Which one's playing? Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's the wrong girl in the movie. That's the wrong girl in the movie. Now the funny thing is, and the Lord just wants to teach you something about repentance here, that girl is me. <coughs> I was the wrong girl. But now I'm the bride. I am the right girl. 
when you watch the movie, you will see the two different girls. And Jonah describes them. One was a hoe. She was. That's what I was. I don't know what I am. One more time. Listen to the laugh. It's like mine. Right, the wrong girl. Funny. Here we go. Here's some clues. I hope that this sparks your interest. Remind you of anything? And Christmas features in this movie. It's Sleepers in Seattle. That was in my scribed word on the 5th. And I watched the movie last night. Mind you of anything? Maybe this. Maybe this. Did you know I had a dog called Carly? Yeah, see? I was the hoe. Now, I want you to go to this one as well. So, Manger. This is the Christmas story. It's 5336. There we go. It's a stall. But I want you to look at the references. It's only in Luke. And it's the manger is mentioned many times in Scripture. But only with this number in Luke in the Christmas story. Clex brought it up. I brought it up. I'm coming full circle. The Lord gave me this. Pay attention to this one. So it's from Homer down. There's some words... Um, references but it's this plural Habakkuk 3.17 so I want you to go to that scripture I'm looking at it here's Habakkuk's prayer quickly running out of time don't have time to read it this I w would love it if you would read this I'm going to pray on it and this is what interests me so where does this word manger come in why is it mentioned in this prayer and where at the very end, Habakkuk resources, um, rejoices here. And there shall be no herd in the stalls. And at the bottom, this might answer our Pied Piper. To the chief singer on my stringed instruments. The Lord God is my strength. And he will make my feet like hinds feet. And he will make me to walk upon mine high places to the chief singer on my stringed instruments. So I'll leave it at that. I will be bringing the second part, but I have to pack because I'm going on a holiday. I'm going on a road trip. I'm going around the bottom of the South Island. I'm walking the land that the Lord has given me. And I'm going to the places that the Lord has shown me in dreams and visions. They are literal places where I lived in my testimony. My story is now my testimony because I'm turned up. God is a God of the past, present and future. I pray you find your call and destiny in Christ. Because that time is now and this is last Christmas. Watch that star. Look up that star, that star, the Bethlehem star. Look it up. I'm running out of room, but I just wondered. I'll probably get cut off here. I didn't take a photo of it. 
Let's play something nice. 